I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky, which in the 1800s was considered the graveyard of the West because of how many people died here from tainted water. Thankfully, water treatment was prioritized, the problem was erased, and a thriving city was born. Pure Spout is a new technology we developed right here in Louisville that's specifically designed to remove lead from drinking water. Wow, I didn't realize that lead was still such an issue. Unfortunately, yes, lead is still an issue. Uh, lead was commonly used in plumbing materials until 1996. So it could be in people's homes, workplace. Or schools. And that's one of the main reasons we developed Pure Spout, so that we could protect children from lead exposure in drinking water. So one of the most common places that children can be exposed to lead in drinking water is in fixtures just like this one, which you can find in buildings all over the country. So do you think there's lead in this one? Well, we don't know, but we do want to find out. So we have Mark, who has taken a sample. What we can do is we can take this back to the lab, find out if there's any lead in it. So what are the health risks of being exposed to lead? Well, lead is a potent neurotoxin. Children absorb lead readily, and it leads to diminished IQ as well as diminished academic capacity. So here's the pure spout. Tell me about it. This is a model of a water fountain basin. And so a water fountain basin usually has something like this on right. it, a spout. So the pure spout, what this is, is this is a filtered spout. So the water comes up through the unit, it filters out lead, so you've got clean water coming out the spout. We started really with the filter. It allows a good flow through it, so this is a flow that would be acceptable for a drinking water fountain, at the same time have a high capacity for lead. So we have it certified to 300 gallons of water for lead removal. It was rudimentary, so, uh, but we actually had a specific market we were going after. What we realized quickly was that the market is much larger and the need is much larger than just for kids. So uh, we expanded that as far as the form, tied in the brand of Pure Spout, and then ultimately developed a design that was approachable by everyone. I would assume that the filter was underneath, stuck under the actual guts of the fountain, but here it's celebrated on top, which I think is really an interesting idea. Yeah, and, and that's for good reason, um, because what I feel like is not only is this approachable in the form, but it's approachable because you know that what you're getting is healthier water. And so, Mark, can you explain how you actually change the filter? Yeah, absolutely. So with this wrench, you can open up the filter, remove it, exchange it with a new filter. This is uh, easily accessible. At the same time, this filter is then difficult to remove unless you have right. this wrench. So it's tamper-proof. Exactly. And it, it seems so simple, right? But there actually are a lot of standards that need to be maintained with uh, just a basic water fountain. Everything from the lip guard to the flow of the water that actually comes out, the height of it, the distance. And so all of that has been tied into this design to make sure that not only is it consistent in its delivery, but um, the user can walk up and feel comfortable using the device. I would imagine that if something's designed for a school, it has to be incredibly durable. Yes, to say the least, and this is very tough. What is he doing over there? Well, Tim here is performing one of the many stress tests that we put Pure Spout through during the development process. We knew that this was going to be in a rugged school environment, and so it had to meet certain standards. Wow, you guys really thought of everything when designing the Pure Spout. Hey, Tim, how strong is that fountain? I can pull my airstream with it. That's good, Tim. You can take a break. All righty. So Mark, drum roll, what are the results from the samples you took earlier? So the results show that there was lead in both samples that we took earlier. So those are notable levels of lead, something that we would really want to deal with. Unfortunately, Sarah, that's not a surprising finding. Uh, there was a recent study that showed that of school districts tested, nearly 40% of them found some level of lead in the drinking water. To us, uh, based on our research, that could represent as many as a million drinking fixtures out there in schools right now that probably need to be remediated for potential lead contamination. It sounds like a lot of people are gonna benefit from this innovation. At the end of the day, we just wanna protect children's health. Pure Spout is a great example of a smart and simple solution to a complex problem, allowing for clean water for generations to come.